Absorb, discard, add, my friends. Thank you for dropping in with me on this martial arts journey. Uh, heading off to Kempo again. It's Tuesday. And, uh, let's see. Today was pretty action-packed. Um, I got woke up at 5.30 in the morning from a phone call from work saying some guy didn't show up and wanted to know if I could come in, so... I did that, went to work, didn't really want to, but uh, just got the few things that needed to be done, done, and got out of there as soon as I could. Um, but the day got better because after I got home, uh, it was my sister's birthday, Samantha, and uh, she just kept telling me how all she wanted to do was jujitsu for her birthday. I'm <laughs> like, Sam, there's no place open. There's, you know, there's not open mats on Tuesday typically, and you can't just go somewhere and do jujitsu. And she kept saying that's what she wanted to do, that's what she wanted to do. So, ended up uh, asking for permission and then went to the dojo, the school, the Kempo place where I teach my classes, the Kokodo Jitsu Club, and uh, went in there privately and uh, basically gave her a two-hour private lesson, uh, helping her tune up everything, teach her a new move, the guillotine choke from standing, which was awesome. That was a lot of fun. Um, helping her work her t older techniques, uh, perfect things, and uh, really giving her the extra tips and details to make everything as perfect as can be. So, I mean, at that level you don't need to be, you just got to get the basic ideas, the moves, the principles. But uh, she's like me, so I know how she's thinking. And I uh, just want to get everything 100% perfect right away. Um, so I can understand that, and so I went with it. And since it was a birthday, it was fun to do, and we had a blast doing it. And So that was a good two hours spent there. Uh, got something to eat and uh, got home and a lot of messages, a lot of feedback, a lot of things going on to do with martial arts and specifically with jiu-jitsu. So when I got home, I was just dealing with a lot of stuff like right away, just feeling bombarded, but uh, in a good way. And one of the biggest things that happened today was that uh, um, Mr. Hicks and Gracie himself, uh, excuse me, he uh, got together with his nephews, Hiron and Henner Gracie, and uh, who I study under, and they were all talking about some modifications and changes to the way belts were being uh, awarded, specifically the blue belt. And so I really like the changes they implemented after watching the video about it. I agree with the, what they're saying, um, and I think it's a good way to go about it. We'll just see how all the details pan out in the future. But the, one of the best things that I personally liked about it was how Hickson kept emphasizing the importance of self-defense being first, uh, let alone being taught at all. Because a lot of places just don't teach self-defense in jiu-jitsu, which is what the whole system was designed for in the first place. It's all sport and competition now, which is fun and everything, but uh, I don't think most most of the population doesn't go into a martial arts or jiu-jitsu school looking to be the best competitor and tournament person. Most of the people want to first learn how to defend themselves, have self-confidence, and things of that nature. So having one of the biggest names in all of jiu-jitsu history, Hicks and Gracie, saying those same things. Um, it was a really gratifying experience to watch him be excited about the idea of every making a global jiu-jitsu federation where everybody can uh, put self-defense first and is the most important and then also make sure you're well equipped to deal jiu-jitsu versus jiu-jitsu and sparring and uh, competition and things like that whether it's tournaments or not just competing jiu-jitsu versus jiu-jitsu so a lot to go a lot going on in the, that community and so that's really exciting and uh yeah uh heading off to kempo and uh, looking forward to class tonight um i'm gonna be doing some cool drills i think with uh leg buckles and such so looking forward to that 
and uh, yeah, exciting day, fun stuff. Oh yeah, and uh, to put this in the vlog, so class last night went really well. Um, had a really nice turnout, uh, and even had a guy come down to visit who studies Aikido. Um, and I got to work with him just a little bit before class started, and that was a lot of fun. Um, and I'm trying to figure out a way that uh, we can work out more together. Uh, I really want to practice Aikido more. It's been so long. And uh, just those few minutes with him was just really great and really awesome. And it made me fall just back in love with it and want to do it again. And as though I don't already have enough on my plate. But uh, yeah, class went really good though. Um, had some great people, had a lot of fun. And uh, looking forward to more in the future.